Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Jonathan Ma. This is my Christian life. So fall 2023 is officially here and the summer is gone. Thank God. Man, it's been such a long, dreadful, hot summer here in the state of Texas. Just feel like it was triple digit the second half of the summer, if not the whole entire summer. But yeah, it's about 6 p.m. right now. I'm actually sitting on top of the dam. The only reason why you can't see it because the sun is about to set. If I turn the camera on the other side, you won't be able to see anything. So as soon as we get set up, I will show you exactly where we are and what we're working with. But today for the bait of choice, we're using a frozen muzzle. And I used this bait before and it has a very successful time catching some fish. But it was actually the first time I'm going to be using here in the state of Texas. So I got on the phone with Texas Game Warden to make sure that I follow the compliance and regulation as far as for bait. And yeah, the warden gave me the green light and said that I could go ahead and use the frozen muzzle as bait. So that's what we're gonna be using. Uh, for yeah, for everybody that wanted to try this bait, make sure you check with your local and state um, regulation. Make sure you are in compliance. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it set up and cast a line out, see if we could uh, get on some fish. Stay tuned. All right, I gotta set it up for the first rod. What we're working with is kind of Carolina rig with the sliding sinker. Uh, this is three ounce and you're going about 20 pound maybe a foot and a half worth of leader and i attach two muzzle into the number two size hook now the way to attach this muzzle for me uh, the best way is to go ahead and go through the little foot inside that is the best part to kind of get your hook um, nice and tight and you know these uh, these muzzle are very fragile so as soon as you cast it out there any Momentum will break the muzzle part. So the best way is to go through the foot of the muzzle. But yeah, that's what we're working with. I'm gonna cast it out and see if I could uh, hook up some fish. It's pretty good actually. All right. About to set up the second rod, but I'm gonna show you exactly where we are right now and you can kind of see the sun is setting a little bit in the back so if you're having a hard time looking at this location I do want to apologize in advance so, this is the area that we're working with uh, that's the dam right there and I try to get closer to there but I don't know if we're allowed to fish right on the edge of that dam uh, where we are right now is right on the left side of that pylon and I just kind of cast it out over there and I did see some fish jump on that side so hopefully we'll get some fun with some fish pretty soon. Got the second rod set up, the same setup but I'm going to go ahead and cast it on the right side of those uh, floating devices. Is that what you call them? Oh, I don't I don't know what he called. But yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good bite. That's a good bite right there. That's a good bite. Uh, it's be shot. Yep. It might be on. It might be on. Yep, we're up. Yes, we're up. On the muzzle. What is it, muzzle or muscle? Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish. Good fish right there. It's fighting pretty good. Catfish. Oh, yeah. Nice little catfish on the dam. Not too bad. <laughs> I would tell you, these fat catfish, they basically will eat anything. <laughs> All right. Here you go. First fish. Tiny, tiny catfish on a muzzle. A channel cat. Go ahead and let him go. All right, buddy. Catch you later. Go, go, go. That way, that way. Yeah. Nice. Done. 
All right, let's attach another piece of muzzle and cast it out. Now with this, you gotta make sure that you pick up the shell. I have a bucket over there that I just toss it all in there. You definitely have to make sure you pick up the empty shell. But yeah, use the muzzle, go through the foot. And uh, I was towards the left side near the dam. So I'm gonna cast it back up the same spot. Not too bad. So uh, I decided to go ahead and resume this uh, bait challenge tomorrow morning at a different location. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that damn location. It looks really good, but it's just very rocky and uh, the way we were fishing at the bottom i lost several setup and there wasn't any bite after that catfish so we're going to resume this tomorrow with the muzzle and try to see if we could uh, get on some you know some fish early in the morning so we'll see you then the hell is that so this is actually one of three i believe the mink that um, decided to hang around our fishing location. Unfortunately, this is one of many, many more fishing locations throughout the day, and including the location that we went yesterday. Yeah, so for this bait challenge, and we have a total of five locations, and that is the harsh reality of bank fishing. You know, you have the mercy of the water and the fish, and you can't really just like hop on a boat and you know, use a fish finder to go where the fish are hanging out. All right, folks, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, struggle is real. Um, like I mentioned, man, this is actually the fourth location that we went out here today. Um, first location, not a single bite. Um, it looked good. That's, that's my go-to spot, and I didn't even get a one single bite. Second location, again, not a single bite. And I ended up using not just the mussels, but I brought the shrimp with me, not a single bite. And third location was actually on the other side of the bridge. Stay there for a little, several hours. Shrimp, mussel, night crawler, nothing. <laughs> Zip, <laughs> nada, <laughs> zero. <laughs> but this is actually a fourth and final location. I mean, it looks good. It looks it looks awesome, right? I mean, it's got this man-made jetty and it's sitting out here and the water is nice and deep, but again, not a single bite. Uh, you know, I talked to several fishermen and they say this is what they call a transition period. And what I was told, my understanding is that this is where summer transitioning into fall and these fish are particular about their diet and their eating habit. But hey, whatever it is, um, I didn't really believe it because I thought, hey, even a catfish could hook up. <laughs> we could hook up with some catfish, but that wasn't the case. Uh, we started this yesterday afternoon on the top of the dam trying to do the mussel bait challenge and it hooked up on that one small catfish. Who would have thought almost 24 hours later, that is the only fish that we uh, we caught. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I was contemplating to see if I wanted to post this video. But I will decide it, that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it because, um, you know, YouTube only shows the great stuff. You know, they only show the big catches and you know, all the jazz, like the fun time and personal best and all that stuff. But in reality, there's struggles. Um, and it's always going to be a day or a period or in our time, it's two day stretch where you're going to have something like this where you don't get a single bite. And I can almost guarantee you every single 
fisherman on YouTube channel has experiencing uh, has experienced something like this. But yeah, uh, I decided to go ahead and use this video as a way to kind of introduce what are some of our plans coming up in the fall. Uh, honestly, I've been out here several times. I've been working on a really nice video, try to catch this monster size alligator gar but um it's one of those fish that you just can't just wake up and go to the river and hopefully you'll catch a fish um, it's one of those um fish that you have to get everything right have the proper setup uh, proper gear proper bait location um yeah i tried three separate attempts on try to catch a gar here in texas and all fail um, actually, I was thinking about going back this morning, but um, just decided to go ahead and stick with the bank fishing today and may, maybe that backfire. But I will continue to try to tackle different lakes. This is such a great location. I did a lot of research. I came here and it looked really good. Unfortunately, we didn't get a bite, but we'll come back. Maybe I'll take a couple of days off or something or come back next week. Uh, we did have several big storms coming through our way uh, the last few nights. I don't know if that plays any big role, you know, to these uh, fish um, eating behavior. But, hey, regardless, um, this is, you know, this is the reality of a fisherman. And sometimes uh, you got to have to accept your defeat and move on to the next one. But thank you for watching this video. Um, I will try my best to do more research and get prepared for the next adventure and see if we could hook up some big time fish on the next time out. Um, but yeah, thank you. I appreciate everybody's support and I will catch you on the next one.